I think uh, a lot. It, it takes a lot of mental uh, strength to come back from an injury like a hamstring injury. So starting out, you know, I got hurt with William and Mary. Uh, probably less than two weeks later, I had surgery, and I actually walked out of surgery, which a lot of people don't walk out of surgery with you, and they didn't want me to. They were telling me sit down in the wheelchair and everything, but I, it's something about me wanting to walk out that helped me, you know, mentally start preparing. All right, now it's time to get right, get back into it. I know it was kind of a curse and a blessing at the same time to get hurt the way I did because I just see things from a different perspective that a lot of guys can't see. They, like if you haven't been injured or you haven't went through a major injury, then you can't really appreciate the little things of football, like the, the meetings and being able to go on the practice field and practice uh, when you know it's a hundred degrees outside. You still you, you have you you have the opportunity to get out there and work. There's always value in these FBS games. Uh, the kids get excited about it. The staff's excited about it. You get to play in an NFL stadium, you know, against a top 20 football team. Um, and for a lot of our kids, you know, maybe they weren't recruited by some of these FBS teams. So, you know, we got a little chip on our shoulder and gives us a chance to go out and play. And, you know, in these games, you know, you, you kind of got nothing to lose. You want to go out and play your best football. You got to play relentless. You got to play football today. That means you've got to be able to get off blocks. It means you've got to tackle. It means we got to pursue. All right? And we've got to do it one snap at a time. Good or bad, it's one snap at a time. Resilient. Good things happen, line back up, do it again. Bad things happen, line back up and do it again. Okay? That's the recipe for success today. For us to go out, get lined up, play fast, play physical, play football. Uh, it was definitely beneficial to play USF because it was able, like, I was able to knock the rust off, me personally, because it was my first time back on the field, first time, you know, live in action. I was able to see a couple things, slow things down, get back into it. The handoff, he'll give it to Summers. Malcolm bounces it outside, 45, across the midfield, pinball spinning down to the 41 yard line, making the 40 yard line of the Bulls. Yeah, you know, when you come out of this game, you know, we didn't get the result we wanted, uh, but there were a lot of positives. The, um, you know, the way we played in the second half, coming out defensively, forcing a 16-play drive, making them earn it, um, and then following that up with three straight punts, forcing them to punt three drives in a row. Uh, we can build off of that. We are becoming familiar with them. You know, it's becoming a bit of a rivalry. You know, we're up against those guys and recruiting all the time, a former Southern Conference rival. You know, it's important that we go out and we play well. It's gonna be you! It's gonna be you! Oh no! It's gonna be stepped on that field it was it was go time and everybody knew and everybody knew what we had to do it honestly happened so fast they goggled and looked to their sideline and we goggled and we changed the play uh, to uh, to one where I was going in. And on second down, Granger looking to throw. Ball pops free. Good foot and touchdown, Phoenix Great Lakes. I just executed and played fast, and then the, the outcome was the outcome, and 
be celebrated after. It was awesome. Elon got through on the offensive line of the Pelicans, knocked it free. Coach Trish was harping on us, and you could you could tell that it was there was some some pressure. So we just wanted to go out and, and play and, and show that we that we belong here. fun playing that's the best that's the best feeling ever and you play harder when you're having fun which is something that this team is starting to do everybody was smiling the whole time from from the start of the game to the finish of the game of the game everybody was smiling that was just a great thing to see the fans and everything they were, they were it was support we were one big family uh, against Furman and that's what uh, we love to see, and we hope to see that in the future too. The thing we gotta understand is we got a chance to be pretty good if we do the right things. And everybody's got the self-discipline to do the right things. And everybody has each other's back. And we continue to practice hard and develop this football team. Every week will be a battle and a challenge. You guys did make a statement tonight, and I congratulate you and all the coaches, okay? I know how much this game meant to a lot of you guys, all right? And it's a great win. Family, boys, on three, one, two, three. Family! Everybody wants to be like somebody else. Everybody wants to look for an external thing to help them be the best person that they can be. But we don't often look in and say, okay, I'm writing my story. Like everybody wants to read self-talk books on how to get better when you don't look inside yourself and say, okay, what do I want to do? What is my purpose? What am I here to do?